Okay, so I come and uh, good day to all of our students. So today we are going to learn uh, how to create the activity diagram. Eh? First of all, uh, as usual, you can open up this timeml. So this is the unregistered timeml. Okay, and then uh, go to this model explorer part, eh? and then click on this title. Right click, add diagram, and then you can select. Uh, activity diagram eh? so it depends on the diagram you want to choose in this case we uh, we select activity diagram okay and then uh, you can see in the toolbox so this is the list of activities so there is action initial final for join merge and there are the advanced activities swim lane eh? uh, vertical swim horizontal interrupt table activities, structure activity, and, and etc. So there is a lot of activities you can use. And then, that's it. Eh? Okay, uh, first what I need to do is to select the swim lane vertical. Eh? Click on it, and then click here. Okay, you can see the first swim lane, and then uh, just Double click on it, or you also you can uh, click on properties here, yeah. delete the default value and then uh, type in user. Okay, see? So uh, finish the first swim lane and create another swim lane. Okay, and key in the ticket must. Uh, all right, put it here. Okay, and then another, another one. Sport and entertainment. Yeah, entertainment organizer. All right, sport entertainment organizer. Okay, that's it. And then you can adjust it. If you want to make uh, it more width or no, not. Okay. All right. So finish about a uh, swim lane, so you can uh, stretch it out. Okay, like this. Okay, and then this one. Okay. And then you can start to add the first. Uh, the first one is uh, initial and just click on it and click here see so this is the, what we call as the initial node okay so no need to name it okay and then uh, you need to add action click here and then click here see action okay and then name it as a uh, register to be member enter see Okay, so uh, if the width is not enough, you can uh, modify it. Okay, you can stretch, stretch it, and like this. Okay, okay, all right, okay, and then uh, click on control flow. And then drag from here to here. Okay. And then no need to uh, name it with any name. Okay. So that's it. So finish.
Okay, once you have finished uh, create your activity diagram, so uh, how to transfer your activity diagram to Microsoft Word, for example. First, what you need to do is click on File. You need to export eh, as JPEG. Eh? Okay. Okay, let's see we choose desktop. So this is the activity diagram one dot jpg. Okay, click on it, save. Uh, and then so this is your diagram. Uh huh. And then open up any uh, open up uh, Microsoft Word file. Okay, and then go to insert picture. And then uh, go to uh, desktop, activity diagram, and insert. Tada! So this is your activity diagram uh, that located in uh, uh, Microsoft Word. Okay.